probably see a lot of people, especially in movies, they'll they'll do this. And so, um, yeah. So that's not that's not right. Um, and also, a lot of people when they get put in this choke, they start to panic and they only fight this arm here. But it's actually like the lock hand that's that you have to try to fight off of. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just slow it easy. Alright, what's up guys? It's Monica here. We're in Sebring, Florida. We're in Dragon's Lair MMA. I'm gonna try jiu-jitsu for the first time. Never done it before, so pretty pumped. Um, I've done Taekwondo before for five years when I was smaller. I don't know how it will compare, but we'll see what happens. Are you scared? <laughs> nah. No, you're gonna be going against black belts Let's and brown go. belts. Let's go, I'm ready. <laughs> Getting choked out by, by some peeps. I'm a brown belt here at Dragon's Lair MMA, and I've been training for almost 10 years, and I own the gym with my husband, Hank. Hi, I'm Professor Hank Henry. I'm a first degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and a fifth degree black belt in Taekwondo, and I own and run Dragon's Lair MMA in Sebring, Florida with my wife, Mindy. I've been in martial arts since I was three. I started Jiu Jitsu when I was 17 years old. I uh, fell in love with Jiu Jitsu. I loved the competition aspect, I've competed pretty frequently at every belt level. Me and my wife have both been on internationally streamed events like Fight to Win that was featured on Flow Grappling. I'm uh, 14 and 1 as a black belt, 13 of those are submission wins, so pretty high percentage of finishes and that's what I like to teach here is going for the finish because I feel like that's the essence of Jiu Jitsu. great art for anybody to learn, just not to get in great shape, but also learn how to defend yourself and become a part of something bigger in a community. How do you think Monica's gonna do? Uh, she looks like she's in pretty good shape and most people that are <laughs> athletes in <laughs> some powerlifting, I feel like that translates and there's gonna be a lot of benefits that roll over. So it's just learning and being consistent with it. If she decides to stay with it, I hope she likes it. What are you gonna teach her today? Uh, just uh, some warm-ups, some basic fundamental moves that help you learn techniques better. And then we'll probably work on some triangle chokes and different things like that. And then have a little mock round with Mindy where she can roll, see what it feels like, and First see what she thinks from there. The next one, um, <laughs> let's do a forward roll. So again, very basic, easy. Um, I just don't want to like go over my neck. So I'm just going to do a forward roll. So I'm going to So that's like a self-defense way to get up to. Yeah. So if like, instead of getting up and committing your hands here where you get kicked in the face or kneed or punched, you have like a guard hand. And she went to go stand up and I came back forward. She could put her feet back on me and throw up kicks. <laughs> Nice, come. Wrestling too though, which they teach you in Jiu Jitsu also, but if you look at the mat, you're usually gonna get snapped to the mat and choked. So like when you're going for takedowns, different things like that, <laughs> your head should be straight and almost looking toward their far shoulder if you're going for like a double leg mm -hmm. or head up strong. So it's harder to get choked. Because mm -hmm. it's much tougher to choke someone when their head's really strong and your ears against the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Versus if your head's low and you're like looking toward the mat, it's already in a good position. to oh, down and break your posture. And nice. as you do that, you're gonna let go of her wrist with your right hand. Yeah. Oh. And you're gonna push your arm across your body. Right there, good. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go under her leg with your right hand, but your left hand's gonna grab her head. Yeah, so grab my head with this one. Yeah, good. And then get her under her leg with your right arm like you're trying to pull her like knee scooping? on yeah. your shoulder. Oh, yes. yes, good. Now you're gonna lock your right foot behind your left leg. 
and pull down with the left leg. There you go. <laughs> this is here between my legs compared to here. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This? Yep. yep. Feet over, over the head. Legs. Cross. Over. over. Push yep. down. The leg, yep. Oh. Nice. Good angle. Now you're going to kind of pinch down with the right leg and put your right foot behind your left. And slide your foot behind your knee. There you go. And now lock your legs down. There you go. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. awesome. No, don't be sorry. You know, I, I'm so used to the coughing thing. It's, it's, it's doing it. Oh, yeah. It's a good joke. Go, go. <laughs> oh, my God. That was, that was all fast. <laughs> it was crazy I, fast. I, I think I white ball. I was like, that was like the move that I drilled like a thousand times. Oh, oh my God. God. Sorry. No, you're fine. That was awesome. Before she even locked it, I was like, holy cow. <laughs> so I had a head and arm, and then I'm gonna kind of hip escape out and get this uh, knee and shin right, like on a pull his weight forward, and then I'm gonna come on top. Forward, yeah, right. so you're, it's almost like gonna be like this, and then yes. you're gonna swipe. So you're gonna kick and swipe. Kick. Yes, oh. yes, yes, yes. Nice. <laughs> Nice, good. That was a good rep. <laughs> I feel like I remember that one better than the first one. <laughs> that was awesome, yes. So I hit the skate, but this time my shin was over the top. Okay, so again, now I'm gonna I'm gonna circle my shin above the head and then over there you go. Nice. Now with the yes, 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 yes. Like that? Good, yes. And then um, yeah, so from here you can pull this across. Oh, okay. Switch under her leg with your right arm. And that scoop grip. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> and now foot behind your knee. Yep, there you go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. much fun, yeah. And a lot of like good movement with your legs and good, like, I'd say clamp positioning, like being able to like keep your legs tight and transition them while it's tight, because then it makes it, it gives the other person a less, up, less of an opportunity to escape. I'm gonna slide on the same side of the head. And this is my opposite leg, and then I go around his back. In, just my shin, and then this one's over the top, and then huh. I can. Yeah. <laughs> we wanted to practice on the people. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I kind of messed up a little bit. Okay. No, it's okay because as soon as you, as soon as you're like here and you're scooting in, my my chin is like already getting folded oh, okay. to my chest. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Curl it over the back. Oh, like that? Yep. That's it. Nice. <laughs> that was a really good one. Good job. That was fun. So you'll probably see a lot of people, especially in movies, they'll they'll do this, and so um, yeah. So that's not that's not right. Um, and also, a lot of people when they get put in this choke, they start to panic and they only fight this arm here. But it's actually like the lock hand that's that you have to try to fight off of. Lining up his chin, kind of like a puzzle to where my elbow bends. So from here, I want my head to be on the same side of this wrist here. So not on the same side of the choking arm, but opposite. Mm -hmm. And I'll hide my chin over my wrist just to kind of keep them there. There's actually one hand chokes here too. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so I don't want to make it too obvious by like going here and giving them a chance to kind of um, get there. So I'll go here and I'll kind of linger this behind and just go wrist over wrist. So I'm going to shoot it behind his neck. I'm, I'm shooting it behind his neck like this, like a blade. And this hand here is going to grab my bicep. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to keep my head down low and I'm going to compress my chest and I'm going to squeeze. Oh my yeah. god. So, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. tight. Really <laughs> here, yeah, I'm grabbing my other shoulder and I'm just kind of compressing my chest and, mm. and kind of like. Because you want to. Like, like pulling your shoulder blades back? You're put, yeah. yeah, you put mm. your chest into it so then it's like a trash compactor. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're not just squeezing, you're like expanding mm -hmm. so all the walls of the choke are. Try it out, yeah. This we also <laughs> like how I walk it through. Shoot it through, and I use the back of my blade here. Now your your right hand is gonna grab your bicep. Yes. Now keep your head tight. Compress your chest. Squeeze. Nice. That's good. That's Let's go. <laughs> looking good. So yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Wrist over wrist. Punch it through. Yes. Head tight. So big chest and so wait, come back. Keep your head down low over this. And then yeah, push your chest like out and rotate a little bit as you squeeze. Yes, yes nice. <laughs> oh, easy. 
Let's go, come here, I want to choke. <laughs> we'll teach the one arm choke how to choke you with one arm so that you're confident with that. And then when you put two hands, you should be, that should be the end game for sure. And then put your chin over your hand. Yeah. So just one arm. So put your chin here, yep, hide it behind my shoulder. Now put yeah, your chin over here. your hand. Yes, yes, Now yes, squeeze, yes. squeeze hard, yep. Keep going. Nice. <laughs> I gotta take it and dish it at the same time. <laughs> We're going like 10 seconds. <laughs> That's good. good. Let me know whenever you're ready. Are you good? That's fast. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I understand the coughing. <laughs> <laughs> I just slow it. Yeah. Ooh. But, uh, That's good. Yeah, yeah. Eye water. But you can see, like, our, our arms are really small. So I, I think, like, for bigger people if you can get behind them and yeah it's how do you get out of that Fighting so the lock, the lock hand. hand it's very right. it's, it's tricky yeah so i mean like sometimes if you if someone's already here you're gonna predict that they're gonna go for uh, uh -huh. the other hand so you have to try to look for the other hand two on one so like how you grapple is you'll start like standing and then you'll slap and bump hands and then that's like your start like in taekwondo how you used to bow and then you go in your sparring yeah. stance in jiu-jitsu, you just kind of get into your stance, like grappling stance, which is usually like this, where you're a little low, and then you'll slap and bump hands, and then start to try to take each other down, and then you'll try to pass her legs and pin her, or you could try to draw her into your legs and go to guard and work that scissor sweep or triangle. But the goal is submission. Yeah. So we'll slap, bump, and that's how you start the match. All right, okay? <laughs> After showing me some moves and submissions, Mindy and I began to roll like an actual match with me, and you could tell she was being gentle to try not to hurt me. <laughs> I think that would have been a submission. <laughs> Monica's built different, don't worry. <laughs> After realizing this, I told her not to hold back. I wanted the full force of a Jitsu Pro unleashed on me, which may have been a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do that. Woo! I could tell she was still holding back, but she definitely stepped it up. Let's just say I tapped so many times, it's like I was transcribing an encyclopedia in Morse code. <laughs> Try to get past her legs, yep. Those are the sounds I like to hear. <laughs> that sounds like real training. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Take the locking arm. <laughs> Gargle. <laughs> Oh my gosh, good job. Oh. 
was fun. Afterward, to show me how effective jiu-jitsu is, my editor Otto took on Professor Hank in a roll session of their own. This is how that went. Thanks for watching everyone. I had a ton of fun experiencing this side of athletics. I think there's definitely a universe out there where I focus on jujitsu. Special thanks to Hank and Mindy and Dragon's Lair MMA. Go follow them. They are incredible and gracious hosts, not to mention incredible athletes. And if you want to support me and help grow this channel, go support me on Patreon. Any Patreon that signs up through the month of July is going to receive a custom sticker pack sent to them as well as a thank you note signed by me all the stickers are customized by Otto and myself and we thank you greatly and until next time i'm out <laughs>